Mark Wiens here. I am in Bangkok, Thailand, and I am at a restaurant called Ranahan Sui. And this restaurant is located right at the Samsen uh, railroad train station. Actually, right, we're actually sitting just meters away from the railroad track. So every now and then a train will pass through, and this restaurant is absolutely sensational if you love food. This is a restaurant in Bangkok that I think is one of the absolute best uh, in Bangkok, if not the entire world. Pisa is the chef, the owner of the restaurant, and you can see all around the kitchen there are just photos of him uh, playing football and rugby, and he also was a coach, and he played basketball. So sports and good food, I think they go hand in hand together. Uh, but another impressive thing about, uh, about Rana Hansa is the fact that he, Pisa, is the only one who actually cooks the food here. So this is a huge restaurant. There's probably like 30 or 40 tables at this restaurant, but he is the main chef. Nothing goes through the kitchen without passing through his hands. And so he just absolutely just babies the food and makes sure that everything is perfect. Quality control is so high and he definitely has my ultimate respect. Just an amazing chef in the world. As I understand, he used to invite all of his former teammates over and then he would just cook up for them and they would just love the, the strong and the pungent, marvelous flavors that he would that he would chef up. So this restaurant is especially known for their really strong flavors, whether it be sour, spicy, uh, just vibrant, vibrant food, and that is exactly what I what I live for. One of their most famous little snack dishes is something called called gam batu. It's actually almost the whole face of the mackerel fish. Uh, this is a very rare dish, and I think I've only seen it at this restaurant but you actually have to call ahead and order this dish because it's so popular. Um, and if you just show up uh, and, and try to order it, it probably will not even be available. It's just a brilliant food piece of creativity. And then of course they are deep fried and, and then covered in some garlic as well. Oh man, that is ridiculous. It's like a fish cracker. Boing. Mm. I could snack on mackerel faces all day long. This is their version of a Thai dish known as Gung She Nam Pla, which is like raw shrimp uh, marinated in uh, in lime juice and and chilies, but this one here they include wasabi. So this is kind of a Thai Japanese fusion dish. You can see the raw shrimp are below here and just marinating in just what looks like a ton of chilies and garlic and wasabi. Garnish with a little bit of uh, fried shallots, crispy fried shallots. Okay. Oh, and you gotta garnish with this, with this herb. That wasabi is burning all the way up my nose. The shrimp are just slightly cooked from the lime juice, uh, from that acid and the wasabi. Then it is just absolutely just encased in a gravy of wasabi and chilies and garlic and lime juice. Oh, that burns. That just exploded up my nose. That is some serious wasabi. I'm probably slightly tearing. I'm gonna put some rice onto my plate. I'm gonna go straight in for the chuchi batu, which is like a, a mackerel curry. Oh, oh, oh. oh, he looks crispy. fish is crispy on the outside and then it's that that chuchi gravy that's like a 
Oh. It's just a harmony of flavors. It's so creamy, milky from that coconut milk. And then it's sweet, lightly sweet, uh, it's spicy. You can just taste the, the chili in there, the turmeric. I can hardly even think anymore, this food is so good. Okay, this one is Tom Yum Blatu, which is mackerel again. When I stir up this stir up this soup, look at all those chilies that surface. These are actually uh, by Grapao, which is the holy basil leaves. I get some chilies and some of that basil, or a lot of it. Mm. That is so sour and so spicy and so herbaceous from that basil. That will light your mouth on fire and it will make you shriek of sourness. And it's just completely, completely satisfying and enjoyable with every drip. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with a piece of the fish now. This dish is called plak gung pao. The shrimp are first uh, grilled or roasted, and then they're sliced in half, and then they're just covered in a in a bounty of garden fresh ingredients. There's lemongrass, there's garlic, there's shallots, there's chilies, there's tomatoes, and you can see this guy. He had look at all that shrimp head oil, and it almost looks like mustard. Scrape all that out onto my spoon. Coat him in a in a bite of lemongrass and shallots and garlic. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I actually need a moment of silence for this meal. This food demands respect from any food lover. That combination of ingredients is, is brilliant. That is ridiculously good. It's hard for me to even wrap up my thoughts about this meal, but the food was so good that I can, I can say with quite a lot of certainty that this is easily one of my favorite restaurants in Bangkok. Uh, the style of the restaurant is is precisely catering to my exact taste buds. And if you love strong, pungent, marvelous food, uh, this is a restaurant you actually cannot, cannot afford to miss. The food is actually so good that my wife Ying took a bite of the chuchi patu and and I was, I was actually taking photos of the food, but she took a bite and I saw her make the face of delicious, the delicious head swaying face. I actually saw her do that. I don't think I've ever seen Ying do that before. She took a bite and she was like, mmm. And I think that explains it all. Um, she loved the food just as much as I did. I don't know what to tell you, but if you are a food lover in Bangkok, make the trip to Sai restaurant Ahantini Arroy Makmakrap. We pretty much cleared this entire feast in silent, um, in silence, Ying and I. Uh, although I was probably moaning the entire meal, moaning with delight. There's just an unbelievable minute up. There's just an wow. I actually, I actually cannot speak clearly because of my, my overjoy right now. That food was so ridiculously good. I think I can actually retire from eating. No, I'm joking, I'm joking about that, but it actually was was that good. Like if you were actually searching for some of the best, one of the best meals in the entire world, I think you could end your search right here. I don't even want to go anywhere right now. I just want to stay here for the rest of the day. And then as soon as I get hungry again, I want to order more food. I think we might actually do that. Can we do that, Ying? Okay, I think that's it for me. I'm I'm blabbering like a, an inebriated food man right now. So I better I better stop before I I say more than I need to. All you need to know is this restaurant is unbelievable. An absolute must for any food lover. <laughs>